Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest Infinity Kingdom video. It's a special video today because they just dropped a huge update. But before we get into that video, I want to give a special thanks to Yuzu Games for sponsoring today's video. Also, if you guys want to download Infinity Kingdom, the uh, link will be in the description down below. So go check that out. I might even put it as the top comment. Also, the things we'll be going over today is the patch notes. So Infinity Kingdom patch 1.3 notes and all the updates that happened during hey, that. So the first big event is going to be the illusion battlefield so this is going to be a pvp event uh guild versus guild 40 people get registered by your guild leader and then you have 20 substitutes that are available if your uh, main event or your main people don't show up i think the substitutes should be everyone because again when my guild uh Matt, or guild leader registered our guild he didn't put me in any of them so i was unable to actually join even since even since only seven people from our guild showed up um the same thing kind of happened for the other guild so yes i think um anyone should be able to be a substitute and then you shoot choose your main uh, people that that's actually kind of interesting because then you get your best people in there so let's take a look at the actual hey thing. so let's take a look at the battlefield the illusion battlefield here um, you start on opposite sides of the maps it's a 1v1 battle where it's one guild versus one guild not one person uh, 40 people max in each guild uh, we start in the top right they start in the bottom left uh, once the uh, little things open up you can actually jump on them and attack them and uh, take them so there's a bunch of towers I think there's four towers and then two moon altars um, I'm not sure what the moon archers did because I wasn't actually in the battle but the towers themselves give you points and you're trying to get a hundred thousand points to win um, also there's a timer so if no one has a hundred thousand points by the end of the 53 minutes the person with the most points win but if it's like a blowout or something like that and you hit a hundred thousand points I think it just ends right there um, so that's kind of what's going on oh there's a sun altar and a moon altar I'm not sure what that means because the the thing actually changes uh, to nighttime as well so I'm not sure if there's actually a bonus for that again i was not in during it then there's the central tower which gives you the most points that will be the uh one you probably want to focus on the most again you are kind of spread out around so you could probably uh be in a really good guild and have your thing set up where a certain amount of people go to each altar to secure them um and then obviously people stay in the center uh try and secure that one because you, then you can send uh, marches out much easier from the center to the other one so i think that might be the kind of strategy behind that again i didn't get into it because um i was not one of the people selected to do it so i think again they should open it up so that everyone could register as uh, substitutes and then the main group of people um can get first dibs to get into the arena if you only want to keep it at 40 people so um obviously in lords they have up to 100 people in there but um, that can get kind of crazy so if they want to keep it a little bit smaller and a little more uh compact uh max of 40 people is good and then just have the rest of the guild mates basically be able to register and be substitutes for that um that way you don't have people messing out and you don't have uh seven people versus two people because everyone can who's on at the time could show up for it so again this was the first time it went out uh the rule be updates coming up i'm 100 sure because again they love to update their game there's updates coming out all the time you should see the patch notes um, i'm gonna go through most of the patch notes after this but the patch notes are crazy big so they put lots of updates out all the time so this this game keeps updating and updating and updating getting better and better and better so um it's really exciting to see so yeah you can see we are um, crushing them because again they only had two people and we had uh, seven people we end up winning this pretty badly but i'm just gonna show you the beginning here so moon altar again i don't know what it does <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if it gives us boosts or something like that. Obviously, these ones are giving us the points towards our uh, 100,000 points. Same thing with the middle one, gives the most points. So anyways, that's the Illusion Battlefield. Um, unfortunately, wasn't too much fighting going on like here, but I just wanted to go over Let's it Let's check out quickly. the patch notes. So the first part of the patch notes is the Evernight Labyrinth. It's a fourth floor that's been added to the Mysterium. Again, the Mysterium used to only be three parts. Now they've added a fourth one, and this one is complicated and way harder. So it's really, really interesting, especially for late game players. Again, if you're a new player, you probably don't have to worry about this, but for this is for end game players and this is a huge update for it so it's a two team challenge instead of one so if you take a look at your mysterium normally you have one squad and you just go through it and beat your one lane and then you get to the end you get the boss and then you get your rewards this one's a little more because it's a uh, two team challenge so you have two teams that has to go through this uh, there's also three phases in each phase you collect jewels and if you uh, collect all the jewels you get fragments for your uh, schematic or your schematic fragments which uh, you build into the artifact 
Fairfax Fragment. So it is a, it's a big event, a big update, a little bit complicated if you haven't been playing, but once you start playing it, it's very, very simple. So the final battle, obviously, you have to have both your squads arrive at the end, and then you get to fight the final boss, which gives you even better rewards. So that's really cool. The second thing will be artifacts. Hey, so the second one is going to be artifacts. So these are things you can add to your Max Star Immortals. Um, this is a little bit complicated. Um, it is more of a late game thing, but we'll just go quickly over it so you have a little bit of uh, understanding of it. First off, they come in five types, attack, defense, range, and support. Um, these are art artifacts that you can get by creating them in your forge. So the forge is where you're going to be creating all your artifacts. You can see here, these are all the materials you can get. And you can create them, and they will get different attributes based on how good the artifact is so um, how do you get those uh, artifacts is you need to have artifact schematics and artifact materials again you find those from doing the labyrinth and you'll actually get them in your uh, mysterium here or the sorry the marketplace and the, in the mysterium so mysterium is where the uh, new stages are that's where the fourth one we just went over that uh, the next thing is the marketplace they'll also show up in there um, then you can forge them again these are only really useful once you have maxed out your uh, heroes so this is more of a late game thing but once you get there these are going to be so cool because there's so much stuff. Again, um, you get them. There's different quality grades, too, for each of them. And then you can get uh, different attributes. They're random, and then you get secondary and even rare ones that you can get possible, like, amazing ones. So um, you'll you'll see more of that once we get there. Again, I'm not there yet in the game, so uh, it's not too uh, important for me because I don't have any Max Star 1s. But once you get there, this will obviously be a huge update. It's a late game update. It, it creates more content for the game itself. So once you've maxed out, you're not just stuck there. You can actually have some other stuff to do. So uh, that's pretty amazing. So we'll go on to the next one. So the next part of the uh, update was the Meet the Infinity Kingdom creators. So um, they've created this little thing over here. It's a new whirlpool here you click on it it'll bring you into their uh, what's called design studio or their uh, what thing and they have all the people who work for infinity kingdom just here working and walking around and all that stuff and you can click on any of them and they'll have little uh, messages here so Hope everyone can find like-minded friends in the virtual order of Infinity Kingdom. Fight by their sides. Enjoy gaming. You can also message them if you want to. Uh, this person has 69 messages. Anyways, so we'll, we'll take a look at that. There's Trevor over here uh, working away. And again, you can message them if you want. So it's kind of a cute little thing they kind of added to there. Just wanted to put that in there as well. So move on to the next one. Hey, so they've added two new characters to the game. First one is Ditto. Um, it is a water support character. Um, it adds uh, armor to your allies, so it makes them tankier. Plus, it adds a uh, debuff. Uh, it's Chill, which reduces their attack speed. But remember, Chill also works with Merlin's attack, so it'll actually boost his damage as well. So we'll go on to the next one, which will be the fire character. This is Cirrus the Great. Um, he has a de debuff as well as a uh, kind of a buff for your characters, but a debuff for them at the same time. Um, it reduces the resilience of two of the enemy characters and then adds a chance of stunning them for three seconds when they receive a crit attack. So that's quite a big stun. Um, reduces, obviously, the damage they're going to be doing because they won't be able to attack during that stun and they won't be able to get energy for their special attacks. Uh, so basically, it can stun a bunch of people. So anyways, two awesome new characters. Let's move on to the next one. So they've one. added a couple optimizations to the game as well. They've added a new King of the Hill event, which is a, a single server ranked competition. So you're uh, going against all the other people in the server just to basically get uh, prizes for doing certain things so like troop training expelling gnomes resource gathering etc so it's just uh, basically events that you get prizes for the next one i think which is awesome is going to be the uh, what's called optimization runes exploration so that's the best one i think because uh, if you've played this game you know how hard it is to go look around the whole map trying to find all these runes that are everywhere because they give you uh, prizes and uh what's called good stuff but they've had this little little tab here which you actually just basically tells you where the runes are so you can just go and explore them because if you play the game it's kind of cool to start off and go look around the map and try and find them but um, it does get kind of boring after a while because there's so many and this was actually help you find it So they've added that optimization They've listened to the people and figured it out after a while it, it does get a little tedious and you still want the prizes So this actually helps you out. So this is pretty awesome Hey, so the next thing they added is a delete character. So if you don't know why they would want to delete characters, it's probably because you don't have multiple characters. But if you do and you want to search different maps and uh, scout out different kingdoms, um, this is actually a good option because if you go into your settings here, you can actually look at your characters. I have two characters. One's in... Uh, 
uh, Kingdom 10, one's in Kingdom 34. 34 is my main. 10, I was just scouting out the Kingdom to see what it was like. Again, now you can delete this um, just in case you have too many. So obviously, um, they've made it so you can't delete long-lasting characters like my character. So if someone gets on your account or something for whatever reason, they can't delete your character. But if it's like a new character and you're just trying to scout out Kingdoms and you like don't play in that character anymore, you can actually just delete it. Unfortunately, you can't recover it um, after it or not unfortunately, but you cannot recover it afterwards. So make sure you don't delete characters you don't want to delete. But it looks like your main accounts, they have some things that they've added that won't be able to delete your main account. So what, that's really nice. So let's go on to the next one. Hey, so the last ones, they've had combined entrances for the uh, Well of Time, uh, Contention of Relics, and Illusion Battlefield that's down here. Um, they've optimized the revenge feature, so you now do it on assists, so if someone attacks your ally, you can revenge for them. Um, they've added new ways of gaining uh, Shadow Dragon Crystals, that'll be in the daily deals. Also, the Rebel Tracks, they've added uh, new uh, rewards for that. Also, uh, new decorations as well, uh, new emojis for your territories, um, and then <laughs> there's a bunch of new ones there. Balance changes, they've added uh, Tower of uh, Knowledge passive skills, so um, basically they've uh, basically just updated some of those. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not actually there yet, so they don't affect me, but maybe if you're further on, it'll affect you a little more. Then some UI optimizations, um, approved relocation, so lords will no longer have to wait to relocate again if relocation fails. So that's actually nice. That's actually a little bit of optimization there. That's really awesome. So again, shout out to Yuzu for sponsoring today's video. If you want to download the game, check the description down below. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.